Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. Everyone, welcome to the show. So 61 year old Missouri resident and retired National Guard member Brian McGee really liked to post violent rhetoric on social media. Um, in fact, the prosecutor says prior to the Capitol attack, McGee's Twitter account was suspended nine times because his posts were so out of control. He also posted frequently about the oath he took to protect the United States and the Constitution. And yet, on January 6, he traveled to D.C. He took part in the attack on our nation's capital. Um, he met up with his co-defendant, a man named Jeremy Harrison, also Harrison's wife. And they met up at their hotel that they were all staying at. And they went to Donald Trump's speech. After the speech, they headed to the Capitol. McKee admits that he saw police trying to hold the mob back with tear gas and pepper spray. He admits to witnessing others climbing on the building, and he said he saw down barricades. But McGee and his friends continued on. Um, they heard alarms blaring as they approached the Capitol, and they saw people climbing inside the building through broken windows. That's kind of a clue. So Harrison's wife said, no, I'm not going in. She decided to stay outside. But McGee and her husband went in. Um, they left her outside. They went in together. They entered through the Senate wing doors. This was just 10 minutes after the initial breach. But unlike most January 6 participants, they didn't go further into the building. They hung out near the doors. And then they exited just two minutes after entering, actually less than two minutes later. After they left the building, they found Harrison's wife, they left the Capitol grounds, and on January 9th, after ditching his Twitter account, McGee started posting on Gab. He posted pictures of himself, and one picture was taken at the Capitol, and he wrote, quote, one of the coolest, most patriotic things I've ever been a part of. Just got back to central Missouri from the D.C. rally, took a week of no notice leave from my job and drove for two days to get there. The next morning, I found my 12,000 plus Twitter account was suspended because they have no use for the truth. Yeah, that's why. Um, in the days that followed, the prosecutor says that McGee posted thousands of times on Gab. He was boasting about his participation in the Capitol attack. He, of course, shared misinformation. He blamed the police. And McGee said he would, quote, have no problem making the trip again. But he said that the next time he might show up, quote, locked and loaded. In August of 2021, McGee was interviewed by the FBI. He, of course, downplayed the events of January 6. He equated the mob's actions to a, quote, general admission concert where you buy a ticket and then you get as close to the stage as you can go. McGee also falsely claimed that the officers were, quote, oblivious to the crowd. Yeah, that's why they were shooting tear gas, I guess. And he said that they weren't telling people that they weren't allowed to enter. And then he said that they were fist bumping people as he entered. No evidence of that. So McGee was arrested on February 9th of 2023, and he was charged with entering a restricted building or grounds, two counts of disorderly conduct, and parading or demonstrating in a Capitol. In May of 2023, McGee pleaded guilty to the parading charge. So he was looking at up to six months in prison, five years of probation, and 5,000 in fines. However, the government requested a sentence of only 14 days in prison, and they said he could serve that intermittently. Also, three years of probation, 60 hours of community service, and 500 in restitution. U.S. District Judge Randolph Moss presided over McGee's case, and unfortunately, I couldn't locate any details about what was said at the sentencing hearing, but when all was said and done, McGee was sentenced to only two years of probation and 500 in restitution. I get he was barely in the building, right? I get, I get it. But he's shown no remorse. 
And then seven months after the Capitol attack, he was blaming the police and he made up BS excuses about how and why he entered the building. And then he continued to shit post online and he threatened to show up locked and loaded the next time. So he absolutely deserves some prison time. No question about it. Unbelievable what these people are getting away with. Anyway, I will let you all know if I hear any more. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Links are below in the description box on YouTube and the podcast. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.